What is going on, guys? Welcome back to Intelligent Money Investing. My name is Chase, and today we are going to be talking about Warren Buffett's insane yield on costs that he gets with many of his stocks, and mainly we're going to be doing a little case study on his Coca-Cola shares, breaking down those numbers, talking all about that, and then how you can use that to model your own investing philosophy when you're looking for that dividend yield in the long term. Before we get into that, I want to ask you guys to please drop a like on this video. Let's try to hit 30 likes. You guys absolutely crushed it in the last video with all the support and I really really appreciate that really helps out the channel and make keeps me motivated to make videos for you guys and just makes me have a much more positive outlook you give it forward Re really enjoy that so but without further ado let's get right into this video so if you guys have not watched the last video I talked about kind of everything yield on cost and did a little example from my portfolio but there's only so much you can learn for from somebody who's only been in the market for one year from my portfolio so I want to look at Warren Buffett's uh, yield on cost because that'll show you what you can do when you're investing in a stock and sit on that position for multiple decades and what that can do in terms of its payout, in terms of your equity value, and how much money you can actually make in the long run and not just in a short period of time. So I was talking about AbbVie and how I had increased my dividend yield from about like 4% to like 7%. And really what yield on cost is, is what you're getting per year, your annualized payout, compared to what you actually paid for the stock. And when, while you're calculating your the market dividend yield, that you do a similar calculation, it's going to be like basically what the stock pays out per year divided by the market price that you may be buying in at. So dividend yield fluctuates a good amount, but it can, pretty much stays in the same range with like as the market fluctuates. But over a long time, it can actually change quite a bit in your favor if you are holding on to the stock at a lower position, at a lower cost. So let's talk about Buffett's Coca-Cola position. So uh, Buffett owns 400, 400 million shares of Coca-Cola stock, and it has a $1.56 payout per year. It pays quarterly dividends. So his payout per year, 1.56 times 400 million, is going to be $624 million from his Coca-Cola position. So the market value of that position is seventeen billion three hundred seventy two thousand or seventy two million of dollars about. That's kind of rough estimate. Obviously, market fluctuates a little bit, but it's pretty much in that range. But I, with market value doesn't really matter for what we're talking about here. We're just talking about that dividend payout. The position cost when he bought in was one point three million. So I one point three billion. These numbers are very staggering. So I gotta get them off a little bit. But one point three billion position cost. I believe he was buying this in like nineteen eighty eight. So it's been multiple decades that he's been sitting on this and really letting it grow. And letting those payouts grow. You guys know uh, that Coca-Cola is one of those dividend aristocrat stocks, which means it has upped its dividend every year for 25 years or more. I believe uh, I believe Coca-Cola is in more of a position where it's been more, much more than 25 years. But really, that reliable increase in dividend payout has allowed that uh, that uh, yield on cost that Buffett has to really, really grow and grow. So, the annualized payout divided by position cost is going to be six hundred twenty-four million divided by one point three billion, and that's going to give us a forty-eight percent dividend yield per year from Warren Buffett's Coca-Cola stock. And compared to the market price of forty-two dollars and eighteen cents, one point five eight or five six dollars divided by forty-two dollars is going to be about a three point seven percent market dividend yield. So a 48% return per year is absolutely fantastic. And that's a reason why you want to hold on to these great stocks, these great growing stocks that like to reward their shareholders over the long term as a dividend investor. So when you're in a growing company, they're going to continue to grow their revenue, grow their profits, and then in turn grow that payout that they're going to give back to the shareholders at the at, like after every quarter. So when you have that, you, you're you in at a fixed price, unless you're upping your average cost, but your initial investment, it, it never changes. It stays the same, but that dividend yield or the dividend payout is hopefully going to go up and up and up over time, and then your yield is just going to get better and better. And while you can buy 
in, get and buy some sort of real estate, maybe get a 7 8% return, 10% if you're lucky. But that's really not going to go up that astronomically over time because your building is going to depreciate. And while your land value is going to go up, you don't have an asset that appreciates quite as much as a stock or a business will over the long run. So if you were told you could get a 48% yield on a, on a asset, that but have it be 20 years down the line that's absolutely something you'd be interested in because that is just an astronomical number and that's not even talking about equity gains so he he already has made over si about 16 billion dollars just on his uh, market value for, for coca-cola stock but then again he's getting a 50 percent return on that initial investment every single year, no matter what. It doesn't matter if the stock market goes up, stock market goes down. As long as Coca-Cola doesn't slash their dividend, he's making that much money every single year. And that's not probably not going to change. Coca-Cola is one of the biggest blue chip companies out there. And it's been very stable for hundreds, or not hundreds of years, for decades, basically. But this kind of, like a lot of people have been saying, like, why does Buffett hold Coca-Cola? The, so, the soft drink brands are starting to go down. People are looking for he more healthy alternatives. But when you look at what he's making per year based on that initial investment, because, well, he, he does care about the market value. What he really cares about more is what, what he's getting out of it every single year. And that's what that dividend is going to be. If the market value fluctuates. It goes up. It goes down. It doesn't really matter. But those payouts are solid. And it's something you really want to focus on as a dividend investor and is obviously something Warren Buffett values immensely. So I hope this is something that has helped you guys out a little bit in thinking about dividend yield in the long run rather than just thinking about that dividend yield you buy right at the market value. You don't want to buy it into a dividend stock that's probably never going to increase their profits and increase their payouts. You want to buy into something that's just on, like just starting out and that has prospects to expand greatly and expand those payouts. That way, down when you're looking at your portfolio 20, 30 years later, you're like, wow, I'm making up half of my initial investment every single year just off the dividends. And hopefully you're still getting big equity gains back with that. Because most of the time, the dividend is just a little bonus, especially when you're just starting out. The dividend is a little bonus and you're mostly focused on those that equity return. But down the line, you can get a huge dividend return based on your average cost. And then the equity return is just the added bonus. So it kind of flops back, back there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video again please drop a like and subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys in the next video thanks for watching